Welcome back everyone to the next turns of Wrath of the Shardlon. Our heroes have been having a pretty easy time with the assistance of the allies and we have so far accumulated three experience points from defeating two monsters. We now start our turn with Quinn, the human cleric, and he has a speed of five. For Quinn's move, I think he is going to move towards this side. I just want my heroes, you know, in a group together. And he has a movement of five, but he also has a boots of striding, which gives him one bonus to speed. So he can move six spaces. He's going to go one, two, three. And at this point, he is adjacent to the closed door. So we can reveal, according to the door rules, when you're next to a door token, you can reveal to see what type of door it is. So let's go ahead and reveal. It is a trapped, a trap. So with the trap, heroes adjacent to the door take one damage, then discard this door. I imagine that as Quinn opened this door, some rocks from above come rushing down and hits him in the head. So he takes one wound. Now, does opening the door count as my second action? That's a question that I have. I looked through the rules, there wasn't anything that clarified that. So I'm going to assume that moving and then opening a door is not within the li um, is does not count as you know my actions of move and then attack or attack and then move or make two moves. So I'm going to assume that I can do another move after that as my second action. Um, and for that, I am going to move, let's see, let's move this way and see what's over here. So Quinn will move through this door and explore. And we get another white triangle. Pretty lucky so far. In this dungeon, we find a gibbering mother. Okay, there it is. Next, our allies get to activate the elf archers. Let's see what they do. Now, our elf archers are within three tiles of a monster. Um, and it says here, if the elf archer is within two tiles, they're not, so we move on. Otherwise, the elf archer moves one tile toward the hero who controls him. So our elf, elf archers will try to follow the the cleric forward and we're gonna move one tile towards the cleric so then move let's say this way and then the gibbering mouther will activate and it says if it is within one tile of a hero which it is it attacks all heroes within one tile and it has an attack of a plus eight bonus We rolled a two, so plus eight is 10. Quinn's defense is 16, so that is actually a miss. The gibbering mouth starts to fit these acid saliva towards Quinn, and Quinn jumps aside uh, and uh, manages to avoid the attack. Seeing the gibbering mouth coming up there, Fistra moves. Her movement is five. She's going to go to the aid of Quinn. So she'll go one, two, three, four, and five. Land on this piece here. She's going to use her at will power, which um, allows her to attack one adjacent monster twice with a plus four bonus. Now she has a Vorpo sword, which gives her plus two bonus to attack rolls. 
and I guess a critical hit plus one damage on 18, 19, or 20. Vistra towers over the gibbering mouth and attacks with the sword. You have an 11 plus 4 plus 2, so 17, and that is sufficient. The armor class of gibbering mouth is 14, so we have a hit, and the monster takes 1 damage. Vistra makes her second attack, and she rolled once again an 11. With the bonuses, that's also a hit, so no problem there. Vistra just basically overpowers this gibbering mouth and knocks, you know, its mouth to to the dungeon floor, uh, and it creeps away in defeat. Let's draw the treasure for defeating the monster, and we have a potion of recovery, which ends one condition or your, on your hero or an adjacent hero at any time. I'll just. Just give it with, uh, put it with Quinn for now. And that ends the hero phase for Vistra. We'll now move on to the exploration phase where we'll reveal what's beyond the dungeon here. And we have a black triangle. In this corner of a dungeon, we have a snake. Because we drew a black triangle, we have to draw an encounter card and see what danger lies ahead. And the encounter is an event, hidden treasure. You spot a hidden cache of treasure a short distance away. Place one treasure token on any tile that does not have a hero on it. Now, we do have an environment card. It says, when drawing a treasure token, draw two and discard the one with the highest value. Um, so let's draw two treasure tokens. Draw two. Let's go with this one and this one. We have a draw a treasure card and 200 bag of. Uh, 200 GP bag of silver. Because this is an item, I guess it's an item, um, we have to, according to the environment card, discard and draw again. So I'm just gonna grab another one. And we have another 200. So I'm just gonna discard one of them. And the treasure is 200 GP. I'm going to place the treasure on the snake's tile. It would make sense that after defeating the snake, we would be able to access the treasure. All right, we have to draw another encounter card. And we have another event, Hall of the Orcs. The crude holy symbols of Grumpsh pointed, painted on the walls hint at the nature of this section's inhabitants. Draw five monster cards, discard any monster that is not an orc, Shuffle the remaining cards and put them on top of the monster deck. Alright, I got my monster deck. Let's see. Discard any that is not an orc. Is this an orc? That is an animal, so we discard. Another one. Three. Uh, that is a reptile. And the last one is a devil. So. This is the only one we keep, and we put it back on top of the monster deck. So we know that the next monster is an orc smasher. All right, having resolved the encounter cards, it is time to activate our allies, the war wizard. And it says, if the war wizard is within one tile of a monster, and it is, he deals one damage to the closest monster. The poor snake did not even have a chance. Um, with one HP, that would be defeat for the snake. And that would be our hero's turns. Our allies remain the um, stars, basically slashing everything that's in their way. We found some treasure and we're revealing the dungeon more and more. 
um, and hopefully we'll reach the Dire Chamber soon. Stay tuned and see you next time.